Hi and welcome back. I just want to paint, draw, create something without having to think too much about what I use and stuff. So I got this watercolor paper from Fabriano. It's called Acorello. It's a fine grain, 25% cotton, 300 DSM block. It's glued on four sides. It's 24 by 32 centimeters, a little bigger than an A4 side page or in Imperial it is nine and a half by twelve and a half inch. So that's the formality of the paper out of the way. And I'm sorry my my camera and lights and stuff they, they don't work well when there's excuse me a lot of light on here. I promise I'll put some paint on it and I hope the flicker goes away. I got this set of watercolors and it is Rembrandt from Royal Talents and I quite like them and I've got some tubes lying around that I want to use and uh, yes I know I don't squeeze a lot of paint out in my pans and that's because I sometimes make a mess of my paints and then I can clean the pan out if it's too big a mess and not lose too much paint but this will do me a long time So I found this reference photo on Unsplash. It is by Ariane Staplers by I think that's how it's pronounced. And I'm still sorry about the kitty in the background. And what I'm thinking about doing is make a watercolor background and see how it goes from there. There. Oh my goodness, this is so bad with all that flicker. Come on, the reflection from that, yeah. Anyways, I better get started painting. And as I said, I haven't planned anything here. I might go acrylics or pastels, pencils, all of the above or none of the above. Let's see how it goes. And I'll just shut up and let you listen to music from here.
guess that's how much I can squeeze out of this. It was fun painting with gouache again. I did the background with the Rembrandt watercolors just to get a kind of a base for the colors that I wanted to use. It looks white now, but it is that kind of beige color, pinkish beige, um, that is based on a, oh, what is that called? Nip, 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 nay, no, not Nepal. No, a beige color. And, um, and a little bit of magenta. And um, so, so that that gives the whole thing kind of the color tone, so to speak. Um, and uh, yeah, then I felt like I wanted to do the birds in in gouache because I wanted them to stand out from the background a lot. And um, then after I had done those mostly, I thought, well, I want to try and put some uh, pastel on top of the background to soften up some of the backgrounds I had from, from the water and, uh, and to bring out the texture of the paper as well. You can see that through the, the pastel. And I didn't want any streaks in there, so I, that's why I scraped it off with uh, an X-Acto knife and rubbed it in. And if you want to maintain the light fastness of your products, don't stick your fingers in there. What I'm going to do with this is I'm going to scan it and maybe try and sell some prints, if anything. Now I'm talking, I just, you know, I keep popping up little details here and there. It's difficult to finish because I noticed that I got some light color sticking out there and I didn't want that. I want that dark, dark. So let's add a little bit to the underside of that wing. And the top side. So. You can keep on. And um, yeah, I had a little bit of a problem because I forgot that magenta um, wash is really not very opaque at all. It's not opaque at all, it's transparent. So I couldn't paint the magenta directly on top of the, the dark here over the beaks. And um, so I took a pink that I had mixed and painted that on first and then I could put some magenta on top of that. And actually it worked out okay because it's not supposed to be very stand out very much because it's just a subtle magenta. I don't know if you can even see it. Let's see if I put some extra light on here. So yeah, and it's been going forth and back and trying to emphasize some highlights and stuff, something I need to get better at. And um, yeah, thank you for watching. Please throw me a like and please subscribe and come back. I got more stuff. I'll get back to some reviews and stuff as well. But now and then it's nice just to sit down and paint and not think about just using one product. Thank you and bye.